Now, the boys were, were later arrested and, and uh, stood trial. And they were each found guilty of assault and battery. And, and when the day for their sentencing came, John, the seminary student, attended the, the sentencing. And, and he asked the, the judge for permission to speak, which the judge granted. And so Je- John actually addressed the judge. And he said, Judge, I would like you to, to add up all the, the days that you're going to, to sentence these boys to in, in jail. And I'd like you to allow me to, to serve their time on their behalf. Well, the judge was speechless. At first, he didn't know how to respond. And, and he finally said, but, but sir, you, you don't understand. Nothing like this has ever been done before. To which John responded to the judge and said, oh, yes, it has. You know, 2,000 years ago, Jesus died on the cross that I might have forgiveness of my sins. He paid the price that I deserve. That's what saving grace is. You know, Jesus standing in our place. The saving grace is a, is a gift that He offers to each one of us. A, a gift that, that He offers to each one of us that is ours if we will only receive it. And we're going to end the service this morning in a, in a little bit different way. I want to spend some time in, in reflection and, and thinking about saving grace and its impact on, on our lives. Now, everyone should have in your bulletin a a blue card, and if some of you have been taking notes on that card, that's, that's all right, but that's not why we, we put it in your bulletin this morning. I want you to think about your experience of saving grace. Now, there are some of you this morning who, who have experienced saving grace in, in your life, and I want you to, to think about that time when you first gave your heart to Jesus. Now, now statistics show that about 50% of people who claim to have a relationship with, with Jesus, can identify a, a place or time or event. They, they know when it was that, that they gave their, their heart to Jesus. So another 50% of people who, who claim to be followers of Christ describe it more as a process. But I, I want you to think about when it was that you came to the realization of, of your need for forgiveness, your, your, um, your receiving of, of God's uh, saving grace. And I want you to remember how, how was it that you felt? Did you feel joyful? Did you feel like a, the, the weight of the world had been lifted from your shoulders? Did you feel forgiven? Did, was it, a, was it a, maybe just a, a cognitive experience to you, a, an understanding of, of what it was that, that Jesus had done for you and, and receiving that, that gift in, in your own, own life? You know, as you remember and reflect on that experience in your life, I, I want you to, to write something down about it. You know, how you felt, some memory that you have. You can sign your name, but you don't need to. And then, you know, during our time of reflection, I want to invite you to come and, and bring that card and, and place it in the, the basket here up front, just as an offering. As an offering to, to God, you know, thanking Him for His saving grace, but also as a reminder of the, the impact that His saving grace has had on your life and, and the difference that it, it makes. You know, God's saving grace is not about fire insurance. It's not a, about simply keeping us out of hell but, but it's, and, and having the promise of heaven, but, but receiving God's saving grace is, also begins a, a journey of, of being a disciple, of being His follower. You know, maybe there's some here this morning who who have never experienced His saving grace. Maybe you've heard about it. Maybe you're like Pat and, and said, well, you know, when I get my life together, when, when I become good enough, you know, then I'll, then I'll uh, experience God's saving grace. But there never will come a time in which you're good enough. There's never going to come a time when, when you can do it on your own. And so maybe this morning is that is that point that God has been bringing you to, His provenient grace, that, that grace that, that goes before you has, <clears throat> has led you to, to this point today in order that you might be able to say yes and, and receive that gift of, of saving grace. And so if that's you this morning, um, maybe you just write on the card, I received His saving grace today. But if you're, if you're receiving that gift for the first time, on the back of your bulletin, there, there's a prayer. Uh, the, that you can pray. You know, as, um, as we have a time of reflection, you know, 
we're just going to, to sit quietly and as you feel led, you know, we're, we're not going to file out of our pews one at a time, but, but those who feel led to, to take this card, bring it up as an offering of thanksgiving to, to God, can place it there in the, the basket. You can spend some time at the, the altar rail and praying. If someone would, you would like someone to pray with you, Pastor Alex and I will be standing on, on either side and you can come to us. Maybe it's an issue of, of uh, us praying with you as you receive God's saving grace in your life. Maybe there's something else that is burdening you or, or concerning you that, uh, that you'd like us to, to pray about with you. So we'll be available. You can pray at the altar railing. You can, can pray in, in your pews. You'll, as we come, you'll let's reflect upon God's saving grace. The gift that He's given to us in in His Son, Jesus. And the difference that that it makes in our daily life as we seek to live as His follower, His his disciple. Let us pray. Lord, we thank You for Your grace. We thank You for that grace that goes before us, even in ways that we, we don't know or recognize. And Lord, we thank You for Your saving grace. That grace that brings forgiveness in in our hearts and lives. That grace that that causes us to receive the the gift of salvation as our own. And so Lord, as we reflect, I pray that it would be a time of remembering and encouragement for for those who have embraced that saving grace at at some point in, in the past. May the remembrance of Your saving grace cause us to live more faithfully as Your followers. Lord, for that, that one in this day who, who knows about your saving grace but has never made it their own, may this be the day in which they say yes. May this be the day in which they say, Lord Jesus, I put my faith and my trust in you. Forgive me of my sins. Through Christ our Lord we pray. Amen.